The woman said how she made space for the senior and later found out that she'd been a hockey player, a model and an employee at the French Embassy Ivy Pinto on July 25th. You might have come across a now-deleted thread on the Twitter handle at Empowering Goa about a young woman who described a heartwarming experience she had in a church gate bound local train with a senior citizen who wasn't being given a place to sit by fellow passengers because of how she looked. The woman said how she made space for the senior and later found out that she'd been a hockey player, a model and an employee at the French Embassy. Turns out, almost all of those claims are untrue. Midday learned this after speaking to Vera resident Ivy Pintos the septuagenarian whose story went viral through the tweets. No state-level hockey last Wednesday, a user named Dipika Nake posted a picture with Ivy, detailing the experience she had with her on a church gate local. Dipika mentioned how Ivy, wearing messy clothes, carrying an unorganized bag, was met with judgmental stares in the women's compartment, where none of the passengers budged to offer her some space to sit. The passengers moved eventually, but refused to sit next to Ivy. She came and sat next to Dipika, who felt bad about Ivy being judged for her appearance. Dipika then wrote how Ivy said she doesn't mind the comments, because the women don't know she'd been a state-level hockey player in her youth. Ivy denied mentioning this. She told Midday, I've never played hockey for the state. I used to play it with a friend of mine in Baikla, who had a group called Wildcats. The thread further mentioned how Ivy has worked at the French Embassy as a Blangular. Ivy denied this too, I've never worked with any embassy, in fact, when I was young, I used to work for a private company. Another claim the thread made was that of Ivy being a part-time model, which Ivy told midday she has never worked as. The thread made another tall claim, about how Ivy travels from Vera to Bandra every day in peak hours to teach underprivileged children. But while Ivy agreed to traveling daily, she said she only does it to go to the church. One trod the thread did have an ounce of truth, though, involving her family. It mentioned how Ivy has stayed strong after the passing of her husband and their only daughter. Ivy said this was true, Midday contacted Dipika, but she refused to comment. Catch up on all the latest Mumbai news, crime news, current affairs, and also a complete guide on Mumbai from food to things to do and events across the city here. Also download the new Midday Android and iOS apps to get latest updates.